Welcome to Rose Opal Knits, our knitting and other crafts podcast. This is episode 35, and I'm Daphne. And I'm Erica, and she's my daughter-in-law. I'm her mother-in-law. So, hello, everybody. And um, I just want to say thank you to all of you who watch us every time we have a new episode and leave comments and chat with us on Instagram and in our Facebook group. We really appreciate you. And... Um, we have some new people around here, so we're very thankful that you um, have subscribed and that you're here. And if you're new, we hope you stick around and you like what you see and consider subscribing. And um, I remembered. All the show notes will be in the description box below. <laughs> I think um, I and if we um, forget to mention anything, feel free to leave a comment, ask a question, or um, send us an email. The, our email is in the, the um, box below. So today we're going to, um, real quick, start with, oh, I guess I should, okay, sorry. <laughs> My brain's like, eh. um, There is a thunderstorm going on outside in case you hear some rain and some thunder, but this is the time that we have to <laughs> record the podcast. Um, so we're just going to roll with it and hope it's not too disturbing. Now, <laughs> real quick, we're going to discuss our um, shawl knit and crochet along. So we started that in March and it goes until June 20th. All the details for our knit and crochet along um, are in the description box below, but basically it's just a participation um, knit and crochet along. You. Uh, whips are allowed you don't have to finish your shawl we just are knitting shawls and we you know want you guys to knit, knit your shawl show us your shawls <laughs> um just for the community of it so on instagram you can use the hashtag rok shawl k c a l for rose opal knit shawl knit and crochet along and um in our facebook group you can also um post your progress pictures and finished object pictures in our um, knit and crochet along thread. So um, like I said, all that information is below. And um, we received um, a second prize. So we're going to show that to you right now real quick. So well first, just to, just to remind you, this is one of the prizes. It's from Willow Tree Yarn. Angela is the yarn dyer and she's always been very supportive of us and this podcast and we appreciate her, her so much. And then we received, sorry about the crinkling, we received a second prize for our um, shawl cow. And this is from- I how pretty it was. I know. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> We just received it this week, and this is from Carista of Sweet Mountain Crafts. So here is her card, Sweet Mountain Crafts. And she sent along this beautiful skein of yarn. I'll show it close. Yeah. It's like a tonal, but it's really pretty. And this bag to go with it, which it matches so well. All right, so thank you so much. Um, we 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 love it. We know one of you lucky guys that's uh, participating in the um, shawl cal is gonna love it too. Put that down there. And um, she was so sweet that she <laughs> she sent along a skein of yarn for each of us. I'll show it closer. Yeah. Because it's got like purple speckles in it and then it's just really pretty. It is. It is really pretty. Underwater Adventure is mm -hmm. what it's called. I think she said this that these were on one of her discontinued, discontinued bases. bases. It's a 7525 Merino Nylon. The mm -hmm. I'm guessing the one that she sent for the prize is the new sock base. So it's an 8020 blend instead. It is an 820 slope mm -hmm. sock. And this is called Dew Pearled Hillside. It's just beautiful. <laughs> All right, so that is our um, shawl uh, cow 
update. You have until June 20th. I think that's what it is, June 20th. It's somewhere around there. It's mm -hmm. like... To, um, right before. Yeah, spring. yeah. I mean, summer, obviously, so... Yeah. Um, so, <laughs> we are going to hop right into finished objects. I have one. I only have one. No, I have two. No, I, I lied. Saying, you have two. I have two. Okay, I only have <laughs> one have with one. me mm -hmm. because I finished my vanilla socks. The, um... What is it? Knit Picks, Hawthorne, and the Cosmic Speckle. It's the colorway. I think it's Cosmic Speckle. Mm -hmm. Something like that. But anyway, so I gave them to my mom so she could send both the pairs that I made for her aunt and her cousin. So mm -hmm. my mom has those, but there will be a picture. Yeah. Uh, and it's just a vanilla a sock mm -hmm. with one by one ribbed cuff, tail flap and gusset for the heel, and then a wedge toe. So. All right. But yeah, that's all. <laughs> Good. And I guess I'll show. I have a finished pair of socks. I finally finished this pair, which I named Lollipop Vanilla Socks. <laughs> um, and this one was already finished. And the last time I showed this sock, it was right here. So, um... I'll tell you about this sock. This colorful yarn is by Willow Tree Yarns and it's called Lollipop. So that's why the name of the sock <laughs> is Lollipop Vanilla. Um, and this white glittery base is Regia. So I looked it up <laughs> because people say different things. And um, Sue of the Yarn Maven told me that it is actually pronounced Regia, not Regia, which is how I was saying it before. And she might have some insider knowledge to make the company, maybe. And that's how she knows it's pronounced Regia. Um, however, when you Google the word, you get both pronunciations, Regia and Regia. And I think even on YouTube, like one of the pronunciation videos that says it's a Latin word pronounces it both ways. So I was going to say, I don't think it's an American made yarn. Yeah. So, but mm -hmm. I think more for the American way of saying it, people say it Regia. Regia. Uh huh. But I think whatever region it's from, it's more like Regia. Yeah, I would agree. So I think it doesn't matter. You you say it the way you feel most comfortable <laughs> I with. I mean, most people know what we're talking about when you yeah. say it either way. Same mm -hmm. with like skein and skein. Yes, like, that's true. That kind of skein and skein. Um, so this wants to stick up. But anyway, so I knit, okay, so I cast it on 64 stitches. I knit them top down. Um, I knit the cuffs on a US 1 2.25 millimeter and I switched for the rest of the socks to a one, US 1 and a half, which is a 2.5 millimeter needle. Uh, it's a, basically just a vanilla sock with a pearl stitch. So that's not a ladder. That's an actual <laughs> pearl stitch detail, which I regretted because it, just, <laughs> it looks like ladders. <laughs> but um, I see it's on both sides. <laughs> so I basically knit two, did a purl stitch, knit, you know, across, did a purl stitch, and then knit two before knitting the back 32 stitches. Although I didn't knit these magic loop. I knit them on a <clears throat> nine inch circular, mm -hmm. but when I knit socks, that's how I think about them front and back. Mm -hmm. um, I did a slip stitch, heel flap, um, and gusset, um, and then I did the umbrella toe, by um, that's a K Jones of the Bakery Bears pattern. So, and they're for me. So these are my <laughs> socks. <laughs> Everyone wants them. Yeah. <laughs> and I do have enough of that lollipop yarn that I could knit another pair. So, <laughs> but that's it. Okay. I do have a finished object. I do not have the ends woven in or any of the markers taken off of it because I started something else. Yeah. But anyway, so I did finish my cozy classic raglan. And I decided to make the cropped version because I was thinking about it and I was like, this is like a sweater that I could wear over a dress or like a higher waisted skirt. And then I was like looking at Amazon to see if I could find something. And then I realized I have like a perfect dress, one that I saw on Amazon, mm -hmm. not the same exact one, but I was like, 
I have dresses. So I went downstairs. I had like five dresses I could wear with this. So I did do the crop version. So I was where that leaf marker was. So I finished the body. Oops. I did not do the waist shaping because I didn't want it to go in at all. Because my dresses are a little bit boxier shape. So I didn't think the that would look right with this cinched shirt oh, almost sweater over it. So and then I did do the decreases in the arms. So this is the first sweater that I did the decreases in the arms. Mm -hmm. But and I did finish it on the thirtieth of April. Yes. So I did finish a sweater in April. She went back and forth. <laughs> I'm going to do it. I'm not going to do it. I'm yeah. going to do it. I'm but gonna... then, okay, and then I realized that I had, like, five days instead of, like, three that mm -hmm. I thought I had. Mm-hmm. So. Yep. So you... And the yarn is um, Hobby Lobby Yarn Be Authentic. Hand dyed. Hand dyed in the tabby colorway. Mm-hmm. And I knit it on a US 6. Which I don't know the millimeters four, for. Four millimeter. Mm -hmm. There you go. So, um, so this is a finished object, but it's yeah. not fully finished. Yeah, because I, okay, I'm not gonna wear it until like the fall. So I'm just giving you a hard time because it's when... not even gonna fit me right now. So what's the point in finishing it? Finishing it? It's finished. The knitting is done. It counts. Yes. It's a finished no, no. sweater. No, it counts as a finished object. It's just when you talk like when cross stitchers on in their floss tube videos talk about finished objects. They yeah. have finished. So. And then they have fully finished or finally finished. Some and it only say. pulled in one little section. Mm -hmm. No, I think okay. it looks good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I have enough. And it pulled to knit with you helical knitting, right? Mm -hmm. So even helical knitting and alternating skeins, it's not, it's not. You still have a chance of some mm -hmm. pulling because I mean that's the nature of the hand dyed process. You know, it's yeah. not. You know. I do have. <laughs> okay, I have so much of that yarn left over. Hold on. Like, there's a lot. Oh, my phone. But anyways, so... Oh, we got some more light because the sun came out again. I have all these balls. So I have... This is almost a full ball because I only used it on the Ooh, sleeve. it's super soft. Mm -hmm, it's 100% merino wool. Mm -hmm. But anyway, so I have this one and then the little scraps. Then I have a whole another ball downstairs. Oh, well, you're going to have to knit yourself a sweater. Another sweater. I know. <laughs> I already decided I'm going to, but I'm going to do the... I'm going to knit the same sweater. I'm gonna knit it short sleeves and um, do the decreases in the body because I actually like to wear high waisted jeans. Uh huh. But you don't like short sleeve sweaters. I know, but I'm thinking with this since it's a fingering weight, it's really soft. Hmm. Okay. I'm gonna try it. But I'm, I okay. I have the yarn. Why not? Yeah. Why okay. not? Yeah. Why anyway, not so I'm gonna do yeah. that and do the waist shaping so it goes in a little bit and I can tuck it into my jean basically. All right. Is my plan for the leftovers. So, do you have anything else finished? Nope. Okay, I don't either. So, <laughs> now we're going to go into our works in progress or our whips. And I think we both have a lot to talk about in the whips portion. So, do you want to start? I or have five. I have six. So, them. okay, <laughs> I'm going to start with my tale of woe, because I have a tale of woe. <laughs> um, so if you remember, uh, the, in the last episode, I showed this, um, this pattern that I'm knitting. I have trouble with pronouncing, and I googled it too, and I found out the proper way to pronounce it, but now I forget. <laughs> it's de, de Ray Cho. I don't know. I forget. But um, <laughs> I've had a lot on my mind. <laughs> but um, so it's a sweater. It's a top down circular yoke short sleeve sweater. And my tale of woe is just real quick is this is where I was the last time I showed it. And so I knit that much and then realized I never went up needles. So you cast it on with smaller needles, needles for the, you know, the neckline. And then you're supposed to go up. I think it's two sizes. Oh man! And I didn't do that, so it's I, I'm gonna rip it out. I'm gonna rip it back to the collar, and I'll start it over because I really do want this sweater, spring sweater, summer sweater, and I and I like and I enjoy knitting with the yarn. So this yarn is this Barocco Remix Light, and it's made up of. Nylon, cotton, acrylic, silk, and linen. And I just like the way it feels. I can see knitting other things out of this They yarn. have one on display 
the at, same sweater yeah, at the Iron Maiden. Maiden. Mm-hmm. And it's so nice feeling, though. Yeah. Like, yeah. it's so, really nice. <laughs> I just had this in an old craft bag from A. Seymour. So there's that. That's my tale of woe. <laughs> okay. We'll talk about this one first. Okay. Hold on. It's all bunched up because I just kind of carried it up here. And my yarn's tangled in it. Anyways, so you guys have seen this yarn before. It is the Lions brand Woolies Thick and Quick in the eggplant color. And you've seen it because she knit her bomber style sweater cardigan. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but anyways, so I was reorganizing my yarn stash because we were doing stuff downstairs. And I was like, I need to get rid of some of my yarn. So to get rid of my yarn on like Monday or something like that, I decided I'm going to knit my mom a blanket for Mother's Day, which is tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Yes, because today is Saturday, May 8th. Yeah. (laughs) And so, can't really show you all of it, but it is just a giant blanket. It's a throw blanket, but it looks huge. What is this right here? It's the where the yarn joined. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, okay. So, I mean, it's not perfect, but I'm using the numbers from... The blanket pattern, all these places by 45 temp studio, That's something like you, that. You knit that blanket yeah. for your the last blanket I knit. Baby blanket for your cousins. Yeah, I just mm-hmm. use those numbers. But this is a bulky weight yarn, and I am using a US 15, which is a 10 millimeter needle. So, and I think I'm, I think I'm knitting the medium size. I don't know. Uh huh. One of those sizes, but yeah. So, so we measured it, and it's 42 inches across, and so she's going to use all four balls, which we think will get her about 60 inches long. Yeah. And the pattern is not this these garter ridges, so I just knit stockinette for like 10 rounds, and then garter stitch for two. Four is what it is, because there's two garter ridges. Yeah. But yeah, so right. that's it. It's just huge. It's really thick. And Paisley loves it. She keeps coming up to me and laying on top of it. <laughs> like, she she just crawled up to it and just uh-huh. sat, like, felt it for a second and then just laid all the way down on her stomach. It was funny. But I didn't have my phone because she took it and oh. took it somewhere else so I couldn't take a picture of her. <laughs> I tried to, but then I couldn't find it. All right. So, my next work in progress actually (laughs) I'm trying to think yeah okay so tiny decisions update I followed the tiny to decisions um, app through the end of April and then on May 1st I decided not to use the tiny decisions for the month of May because I'm feeling a bit overwhelmed (laughs) (laughs) with the um, end of the school year and actually my second son uh, Thomas he's 17 he'll turn 18 in June he's graduating this year and um, just so finishing up the school year and I don't know oh I signed up for a course online so I'm doing stuff for that and it's just the month of May or Mm -hmm. it's four weeks so it'll be the month of May and So I just felt busy. Uh, So I'm going to resume the Tiny Decisions app in June because I really do enjoy it. Oh, I know what else. So it's mania, cross-stitch mania for (laughs) cross-stitchers. And um, so I decided for the month of May, my way to do um, mania, it's M-A-Y-N-I-A, was that I was going to cast on or start, not cast on. I was going to start um, four new cross stitches this month, too. So I had that on my plate. <laughs> so anyway, so I don't remember exactly what, oh, um, how, tiny decisions. yeah, what the Tiny Decisions app, I just remembered. So the Tiny Decisions app, most of the final days of the month of April told me to knit on my derecho and um which is high wind storm and that's what it means and um and this which is mary rose's shrug so i got quite a bit done on this the last time i showed it i had just cast it on and knit you know not too many round uh, rows so i got quite a lot done 
And I actually, so first let me tell you what the pattern is. The pattern is, let's drop it in. It is called Little Girl Shrug by Knitting Pure and Simple. And I am using Queensland Collection Cairns, Carnes, I don't know, words, and <laughs> um, which is a 60% cotton and a 40% acrylic. And it's a uh, four weight, so it is a worsted. And um, the pattern actually calls, once you split for the sleeves, you knit stockinette for an inch, and then either a lace edging or the two by two rib for an inch. So it should be a lot shorter. But I had plenty of yarn and I still have this much left because I had two balls of it. So I decided to just um, make it a, bit, a little bit longer. And when I had Mary Rose try it on, she said, that's so tiny. So like she could have, would have been happy with it even longer. <laughs> So all I have left to do is to pick up this collar back here and I knit some ribbing and then knit the edging, I think, on the sleeves. Maybe maybe a little bit more on the sleeves and then the edging. I'm not sure. But this should definitely be finished by the next podcast episode. So, and then, I don't know, I'm thinking about actually knitting dishcloths with this yarn because it's 60% cotton and 40%. Oh, Grubby. That's what I was thinking. It feels like it. I was thinking. And um, so the acrylic wouldn't absorb water, but the 60% cotton would. So I don't know. I think, you know, I definitely, I wouldn't use it as a towel to dry anything. And I wouldn't <laughs> use it as like a hot pad with the acrylic. But I was thinking it might be good for to wash, to scrub the dishes. So I think I'm going to try that. So anyway, <laughs> that's my plan for that. Okay. And then I have a pair of socks. I was right. I didn't put them back in here, but I did. Oh. Anyway, <laughs> so I've been look, I'm tangling myself up in my yarn. I've been I've had these on the needles forever, but these are my improbability socks. So it's got that table design in the front, and these were two at a time, but I couldn't do it anymore. So I did the heel flap and then changed it to nine inch circulars, and I've just been knitting stockinette instead. So. I just stopped the pattern. But this, I don't have the tag for this one. Yes, I do. Just kidding. But anyway, so, oh, and I was where that pink marker is. So this is my yarn. Mm -hmm. My bag's a mess in here. <laughs> and here's the tag, because I don't know how to pronounce it. But yeah. So, Shuffle. Yeah. I think. But, mm -hmm. and it's just a color number. But it'll be in the description. Yeah, box we all, I, I swear we always like stare at this tag forever <laughs> and can never find it. But anyway, the yarn matches the bag. And this bag's from You Got a Bag mm. on Etsy. Yep. <laughs> Those right. are my socks. Okay. Just not feeling the socks right now, I guess. <laughs> Just, okay, so my other knitting work in progress is my shawl. So I am knitting the Noah shawl by Devin Ventry um, of Knitty McPurley, who just like within the last month or so started dyeing yarn. Really? So, yeah. So she's dyeing yarn now. Huh. But, Everyone's so. dyeing yarn now. <laughs> yeah. Crazy. So this is where I am. This is where I was the last time I showed it. So I haven't done a ton, but I have done some. And I'm really enjoying it. But, of course, I've only been doing stockinette. I mean, garter stitch so far. So I think the next section that I'm in, going to be entering in soon is bobbles. Ooh. I think. So let me see. I like doing the bobbles on Magnolia. Oh, no. It's called growing texture. It's not bobbles yet. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. So, and There's this. There's one shawl that has bobbles on it. I really want to knit it. Oh, really? Yeah. I don't remember what it's called, though. <laughs> So this is in my White Rose Fiber Company, I think, yeah, White Rose Fiber Company um, bag. I really like this bag. And then, well, my shawl's on top now, you can't even see, but I have <laughs> a bunch of yarn in there. 
for this shawl. So, that's it. Mm -hmm. Oh, I guess I could tell you what needle I'm using. <laughs> I didn't tell you that with my um, shrug. So see, I always have to move my glasses because I'm 45. Chalgu US5, which is a 3.75 millimeter <laughs> needle. And just because I just thought about it, let me tell you what I'm knitting this on. Oh, my socks were on a US one and a half, which is 2.5. That's why I didn't tell you because I don't have it on the needle. <laughs> it, this is a US six, which is a 4.4 4 millimeter needle. All right. Okay. <laughs> so I just wanted to cast on everything, so I cast it on everything. Okay, yeah. I thought this was something else, but it's okay. Anyways, <laughs> I thought this was my shawl for some reason. But no, this is my city limits, so I just started it. And I just finished the short row, so it's like all messy. But anyways, so <laughs> that's it. I forget what the city limits. Yeah. Ooh, the city limits is by. But anyways, the yarn it's is... It's uh, Tannis Lav Lavely, and she, they, she has a yarn company too, but... <laughs> Maybe it's, I don't know. <laughs> but anyway, so right now, this, the, all the yarn that I'm using for it is Yarn ID by Hobby, okay, so it's Hobby Lobby's Yarn Bees, which is Yarn ID, is the space. And this color is Indigo, and it is a 80% acrylic, 20% um, polymide, and it's a worsted weight yarn. So, I think I'm knitting the third size. Cause it's supposed to be like five inches of positive ease so but and then they're all stuck in here pretty nicely but anyway so it's the indigo and then it's going to go into that gray color next oh, okay. and i'm using a us7 which is a 4.5 millimeter needle so. mm -hmm. but that's just the start of it yeah all right so Thank you everyone who gave me their um, thoughts on showing my cross stitch during the regular podcast episodes. It was, I think it was unanimous. I don't think anyone said they don't want to see it. Yeah, this I don't think what so. I, told you. I think, <laughs> I, was, I don't know, I was concerned. <laughs> but, um, so yeah, so the I'll continue to show my cross stitch in the regular episodes. I'm happy to do that. Um, so, the last time I showed this cross stitch, um, I will pop in a picture to show you where you last saw it. And let me tell you what it is real quick. It's called Perfect Posy. So, here it is. Now. So, not a ton of progress, but some. I finished filling in this section up here and then came down here and started across the bottom. And this is from, sorry, I stabbed you in the foot. This is from Cross Stitcher, April 2015 issue. And this is what it's supposed to look like when it's done. And I'm using all the call for colors except the yellow. It's still DMC, but it's just a different DMC because it's what I had in my floss stash. So here they all are. I won't go through and tell you all the numbers, the DMC numbers, but they will be below. Um, and actually there's a green missing. No, there's not, it's right here. Uh, no, maybe there is a green missing, I can't remember. <laughs> But um, I have it. I just haven't put it on the floss tag yet. So that's that. Oh, I will. It's on 28 count even weave. The um, artiste brand from Hobby Lobby. <laughs> there, that's all the info. Mm -hmm. Okay, now I have my shawl. Because I did start it, but I did not make it very far. Okay, so the night that I started everything, I started it. And then I worked until it started calling for stitch markers. Other than the city limits, because the city limits, you automatically have to put stitch markers on it. So I decided to do the short rows for that one. 
But anyway, so this is my shawl so far, and it is a Snowy Pines shawl by the Blue Mouse. And so that's the start of it. What's that? You're just like the garter tab? Yeah, that's the garter tab, and then I just picked up the stitches for this um, to make the triangle shape. Mm -hmm. But I haven't done anything else because I need to put the stitch markers on it to do the brioche, and I need to figure out how to do the brioche. But anyway, so far, this yarn that it is, it is broke oh. <laughs> ultra old UK. Could not think of what it was. It's even a favorite though it around been, here. Yeah, and it's just 100% super wash wool, and it is a DK weight yarn. And the color is just a number. So this one is 8365. And then the lighter color I chose. Same yarn, just different color. It's just a slight pink, and it is 8310. And the needle size. That's what I was thinking about. The needle is a US 8, which is a 5 millimeter needle. So hopefully I'll work on this more. But <laughs> I gotta finish this blanket by tomorrow. Yeah, but then that's I just know. tomorrow. I so. know. So I won't have the blanket for next podcast, but. Well, we can pop in a picture. Yep. <laughs> we do that a lot. Alright, and oh, reaching. Like I mentioned um, in the beginning, uh, for Mania, I decided to cast on for I keep saying that cast on. <laughs> Start for new cross stitch projects. And Four. yes, what? on the 1st, the 11th, the 22nd, and the 31st. Okay. <laughs> No, the 1st, the 11th, the 21st, and the 31st, <laughs> you know, numbers. <laughs> so, on the 1st, I started a dimensions kit. I think I showed it when I first got this an uh, acquisition, like, a, almost a year ago. But here's the kit. It's called Be A Light. And it's uh, 14 count Navy Ada, and I'm using all the called for kitted items. I did briefly consider, because I have some like Navy kind of modeled, I think it might be 32 count even weave. Um, I did consider doing that, but if it had been 28, I might have seriously considered it because the finished size is a five by seven. But I, so that's a good framing size, five by seven. Um, but I didn't want to shrink it and then make it less frameable, I mm -hmm. guess. And I don't mind working on Ada. So I just decided to roll with it. And I did actually mean to take it out of my thing, but I forgot. <laughs> so that's how much I have done. It's almost an entire mason jar and then there's the candle there. And then that's just a, a needle minder I made myself. There's that, and I'm really enjoying it. And just because it's right here, I will show you the floss card. <laughs> it's a wreck. <laughs> so, all right, there's, and I just have it in these bags you can buy on Amazon. Okay, so I finally started Paisley's dress too. <laughs> so if this is the Anya dress. And it is a lace dress, so it's curly. But anyway, so there's the start of it, and I was determined to finish the first lace pattern, like first lace thing, but it was like 29 rows. So I only got nine rows in oh, okay. before I stopped. So, mm -hmm. and all those markers are just to separate the lace chart because there's like four different charts you follow. Oh, wow. But like, so it's like the Garter, the button bands are on one side, and then it's only three oh, okay. different charts, but, like, you repeat one of them mm. multiple times. But okay. then, like, since the numbers didn't line up, I guess, or something, you use the other two at the beginning and the end. Then the rest of it's the same middle chart. Oh, okay. So, I guess there's only three charts, then, mm -hmm. technically. But anyway, so the yarn is this. And I bought it last year. From the yarn and, maven, right? Yes, and mm -hmm. I had I made her the yellow dress in the fall, mm -hmm. but it is classic elite yarns in the mica colorway, mica colorway on the mica base or whatever. So there's a tag. It's a hundred percent cotton, yeah. And the color is just a number, and it is six two five six 
206. These numbers are hard, apparently. <laughs> and the needle size is a US 7, which is a 4.5 millimeter. So, mm -hmm. just need to nip this, too, before she turns one. Do you have anything else? I have one more. Okay. Well, Thanks. yeah. So, I mentioned that I'm feeling a little overwhelmed. And one of the reasons is because I'm knitting on a super secret project. <laughs> so I'm just gonna show you the yarn and I'm not really gonna talk about it yet, although I will talk about it. It's not gonna stay secret forever. <laughs> but I just wanted to show you the yarn I'm using. Yeah, let me so, see this one real quick. You couldn't really see the colors, I feel like. It is not just gray, it's like got purples and blues in it actually. So but that is fiber spates. Let me see if I can find the tag. By okay, Fiber Spates Vivacious DK. And the colorway is Heavenly. And then the other one is just uh, Barocco Ultra Wool DK. And the color number that's not it. <laughs> but here's the other tag. Is eight three zero zero. So there they are. So my super secret knitting, <laughs> which I'm keeping in my tote bag with my quote from Persuade, Jane Austen's Persuasion on it. I'm so excited about this one, but I barely even started it. So <laughs> <laughs> everything's like barely even started. Anyway, so I've started this cardigan. I forget what it's called. Hold on. Here, I'll just show it. Hopefully. There you go. Maybe. But anyway, so it's a pattern by the Blue Mouse, and I'm going to actually stripe it and make it longer than the pattern calls for. So that's just the top ribbing so far. You've and been planning this cardigan for a long time. Since my birthday. Mm -hmm. I just haven't started it. Mm -hmm. But my yarn's all tangled in here. Hold on. Anyways, it's, so far it's on a US 8, which is a 5mm needle. So the main color is this one. It is... um. Hold on. It is Willow Tree yarn in the Cozy Place colorway. So that's this one. It's just a really neutral, and then it has a little bit of speckles in it. Probably from where the dye broke, maybe. I'm not sure, because hmm. all of them are like that. Yeah. Like even in the pictures, that's how it's. Oh, shown. okay. Mm -hmm. So it could and just then, be lightly speckled. Yeah, I think it's supposed to be like a lightly speckled thing, yarn. But anyways, mm -hmm. so then I'm striping in these yarns. So this one, put it in here really pretty. And then this one, and then this one. So the bottom is going to be the darker color. And I'm going to end with the darker color because I don't want that light of a color. Um, at the bottom? At the bottom, mm -hmm. because like at the bottom of your sleeves, like I don't like the light colors all super close to that. So it is the faded flannel, rustic rose, and then smoky woods for those colors in, the, in that order. The brand is Alice and Pip? Yes, Alice and okay. Pip, and then Willow Tree Yarn is the main colorway. Okay, nice. Yeah. Oh, and I just think it's interesting that you're knitting this fingering weight cardigan on a US 8 and you're knitting the city limits which is worsted weight mm -hmm. on a US 7. That's so. okay I did gauge. I'm, I'm not. I'm just saying those were gauge. That, <laughs> that's gauge. I believe it. I believe it. The, I just <laughs> the one that's ooh, ooh, whatever. Anyways the cardigan is supposed to be like a really loose, loose airy, airy fabric. thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So Oh, that's all right. I so I, I like it. I actually really liked the fabric when I did it. Oh, that's nice. So that's good. We're good. I know. Okay. I want to get back to my um. Can't remember what it's called now, but it's real loose. Oh, it's red and black. What is that called? It's by Ten Can Knits. Love note. Okay. Yeah, I want to get back to my love note. Um, but that will probably be. I don't know. Maybe in the next couple weeks. <laughs> All right. So um, that's it for our works in progress. And I have a couple of acquisitions here. I have two also. All right. Um, I got to find something though for one of my. I just, I'll show this first. So 
who's doing summer sock camp? Because <laughs> I am. <laughs> so last year I didn't do summer sock camp. I didn't. I guess I didn't even realize realize it was a thing till it was like already halfway through. Um, but this year I'm all about summer sock camp. Like I am making sock plans and. I like impulse bought a VIP spot. <laughs> I was watching the Crazy Sock Lady podcast one morning and it was a couple days old. You know, it had, you know, aired or whatever a couple days previous. I was a couple days behind. Anyway, so I'm watching it and she's talking about how the VIP spots were going to go on sale on such and such a day at 9 a.m. And I looked at the clock and it was that day, 9.02 a.m. And I went... I'm gonna go see. I'm gonna go see if there's any spots left because you know stuff like that sells out quick, and I was able to get a spot, so I'm kind of excited about that. <laughs> <laughs> but so I, I didn't buy any of the sock camp yarn or project bags or t-shirts or anything like that, but I did buy the enamel pin. <laughs> I don't know if you can see that. Hide your face, Daphne. <laughs> and um. But anyway, sometimes we have focusing <laughs> issues. So that's my enamel pin for that. And I'll just show this. And then when I was in the Yarn Maven purchasing the yarn for my super secret knit, um, I kept passing this. I kept seeing that one too. That's the one I kept looking at. I oh, think. really? And then, I mean, I, I must have passed it like four times. <laughs> And then I was like, I don't need any more sock yarn. I don't need any more sock yarn. Keep walking. Keep walking. Well, I don't know. I couldn't leave without it. And I still had gift card for my birthday. So why not get what I want, right? Um, so it is Knitted Wit Sock in the Sphinx colorway. It's 80% Superwash Merino and 20% Nylon. And it's definitely going to be socks. Can't wait. Probably knit them during summer sock camp. <laughs> um, so that's it. Okay, I have, yeah, I have two things. So, anyway, so I bought some Lions Brand Woolies, and this is in the Umber colorway. So, it's just a pretty brown. And I saw this pattern, and I, okay, so I saw it on Instagram. It was on a reel of some girl. She, she modified it a little bit. I wish I still had it, but I don't. Anyway, so it was her wearing it, and she made it more like a dress rather than a tunic. It is the... Augustine's number 11 so it is this pattern it's a tunic but I couldn't find like I was worried about ordering a yellow yarn so I didn't want to order a yellow yarn without seeing it so I'm going to crop it like not okay so you can see how it goes in at the waist a little bit I'm going to make that a little bit higher More and then waisted. it's not gonna be that high still like a little bit lower but like not as low as that one and mm -hmm. make it a dress so I bought nine balls of the yarn when you brought up the three I was like I thought she had more than that oh no I have nine I just brought up three because I don't need to show all nine balls. yeah yeah but I bought nine of them it calls for eight but since I was knitting it longer I figured I should have an extra ball just in case so that's what I got. And then I brought up the shirt to show too. Anyways, and I've been talking about this shirt and how I want more of these shirts, but I can never find them. So it's just a t-shirt, but it like goes out at the bottom. So is that like peplum? I think they call it peplum. I don't know. I don't know. But anyways, so shirt. I found this shirt. It was at um, Plato's Closet is actually where I got this one. But it fits really nice and I just like the way it fits. So I keep wanting to make more shirts like that some way, somehow. And so then I was like, I'm going to try knitting one. So don't know how. Don't know how to design anything or anything like that. So I bought this. It is Yarn B. Uh, it's 44th Street in the mustard color. And it is an acrylic poly made blend. But I didn't want to like spend a lot of money on like a fancy yarn or anything. I wanted an inexpensive, really affordable yarn that I could do this with. Mm -hmm. So it's just a really pretty yellow. And this is what I mean. I'll buy yellow in person, mm -hmm. not online. Well, you yellow is your favorite color. Yes, right? I mm -hmm. love the color yellow, but like this color yellow. So it's blown out a little bit. It's a little darker. But 
This is like my favorite color ever. So mm -hmm. <laughs> I found this. They also have different colors that are really pretty fall colors in the same yarn. Oh, really? Yeah. So I bought three of these. I don't think I need that much because this is labeled as a DK weight yarn. It is not a DK weight because it is um, 100 grams and it has 540 meters. I mean yards. Hmm. It's a fingering weight. Almost lace. Hmm. But it doesn't look like lace. No, it doesn't look like lace. It looks more like fingering. Yeah, or like a sport. Yeah, but it's not a DK. Mm -hmm. So you gotta be careful. I don't think I really have that issue at Hobby Lobby. Yeah, because look at that. This is this is fingering. Yeah, it's a little looser, but still, it's not. It's not a DK. Mm -hmm. So. But this is an eighty twenty. So eighty twenty is plump, plumper than like standard sock yarn. This is also acrylic poly made. It's not wool yeah. at all. So, mm -hmm. a little different. So, I did buy inexpensive yarn to try to figure that out. Okay. Any, got anything else? No, that's all. Okay. All right. So, we're just about done here. <coughs> but I did want to say that we announced the winners for our pattern giveaways and the Yarn Maven gift certificate giveaway in the last episode, episode 34. Um, and we were contacted by two of the winners. So there's still two winners out there that haven't contacted us yet. Um, and so if you left a comment and hoped to win, um, and you haven't watched episode 34 yet before you watch this one, go back and watch it because <laughs> you might be the winner didn't we say we were gonna stop it before we record next show yes before okay we so we we discussed it and since the um the giveaways were for watchers of the podcast um Daphne and I felt like you know, you should be a, a, like, we, we, we want regular watchers to win the podcast, people who watch and comment regularly. So, um, if we aren't, if the winners don't contact us by what date? I think it'd be the 21st, right? So May 21st. Okay. Yeah. At midnight. Oh, May 21st. At, yeah. Um, that's the late latest you'll have to contact us because then we'll have, we're going to, we'll, we'll draw to new or we'll draw if, if they contact us then great if not we will draw new winners um for the remaining prizes on saturday may 22nd and it'll be announced in episode 36 on monday may 24th yes <laughs> <laughs> so stay tuned for that because if you know if we're like the knit alongs or the make alongs or whatever like if, if you win a prize for your participation in that we would you know we don't have a problem contacting you and sending you your prize but because the specific giveaways here were for people who watch the podcast we want to make sure they go to people who actually watch the podcast however we do know that life happens people get busy and so we wanted to give you time to maybe catch up and see your name <laughs> All right. Um, is there, was there anything else we discussed? Oh, um, we're at 449 subscribers as of today, this taping. So we're getting real close to 500 subscribers, and we will have a 500 subscriber giveaway once we reach that. <laughs> you looked confused. Even I though, was. I was like, <laughs> even though we already about? discussed I know, it. But then, uh, look, man, I keep forgetting things, okay? <laughs> So, um, but anyway, I think that's it. Yeah. Is that all that we have? I think so. Oh, wait, wait. No, it's not. <laughs> nope. One more thing real quick. You'll notice that we're, we're kind of sitting in the same spot in my bedroom, but I moved furniture. <laughs> so we're still in my bedroom. Um, just turned. We're turned a little bit. Um, and... Anyway, so that big antique hutch that was behind us that holds my yarn is over across the room. So now we just have blank wall behind us. <laughs> anyway, in case you were wondering why it looked a little different. I like to move furniture every couple of months, so yeah. we'll see if this lasts. 
<laughs> All right, that's it. <laughs> so we will see you in two weeks. Leave us a comment if you have anything to say or any questions. And um, thanks for being here. We appreciate you. <laughs> Bye. Bye.